flying over the glaciated valleys and onto Fiordland's west coast is absolutely beautiful. Until you've been here and felt the thrill of being enveloped in all this beauty, it is impossible to appreciate what Fiordland is really like. This is one of those shows where the pictures tell the story. We joined Riverton-based commercial fisherman Blake Scott for five days of perfect weather. His vessel, Jewel, is 60 feet of fantastic fishing platform and we used every inch of it. Here's one of those trips of a lifetime in a place that must be pretty close to paradise. I'm Graham Sinclair, welcome to Fiordland, absolutely beautiful day as it was yesterday but unfortunately we didn't have a camera. The crew wound up spending an extra day in Tianau because the camera broke. But they're back today and we're into the action and yesterday, speaking of action, was an absolute classic. And uh, fortunately we had a wee Sony Handycam with us and it recorded the action, so have a look at this. Is that the card? Is that the big one? That's a blue cod. That is a serious piece of work. Oh, Well done. He just snagged. He was just that. Should be snagged. Wow, bloody big that they make no bloody fish. Comfy cat. The size of them. At least mine was on the hooks, but they are huge cod. They are. Beautiful fish. Well done, Angler. Whoa! Yeah. My God, just hold him up. Up a bit higher. Fantastic. Oh, that is a bloody good. Is that ever a good fish? Yes. They are serious cod. Well done. Whoa! Oh my God. Awesome. That's what's down there. Heaps of them, mate. We'll have to move. Well done, team. Oh, that's a good trumpeter. Well done. Those should be two very nice blue cotton. Oh my god. Beautiful fish. We thought we'd come back to the spot that we hit yesterday and got some big blue cotton trumpeter. And uh, the team are ready, you watch this. As soon as the line hits the bottom, bang, it's in. Rosna, you are in. They're not bad cod mate, are they? On that little ice. That is a cod. The honey of a rig, that grizzler, isn't it? Wonderful, yeah. Just beautiful. Does all the work for you. Don't get too oh, attached to it. Big trumpeter. Oh. 
Excellent, mate. Now you go for your life. Were we going to throw the trumpeter back today and keep the blue cod, or...? Well, you can, you can do whatever you like, but we're in sort of fishing utopia, so you let a few go, I reckon it's a very good idea. Just get enough for a feed each day and then, um, then let, them, let them loose. Good man. And Ian's in a one too. Trumpeter, eh? Yeah, I like the look of that as well. Yeah, a double or something, I bet you. Trumpeter. Comes out of trumps. Oh, whoa, watch out, you break the tip off the rod, Pete. Woohoo! Nice fish. Handsome nice one. What is it? One trumpeter. Trumpeter. Well, I threw the last one back, so... They can put up a good fight on right here, these things, don't they? Trumpeter, do Yeah. Comes. How bad are they doing? Be keeping this one anyway because he swallowed it. <laughs> Unfortunately. Beauty. falling out, yeah. uh, then you can get a bird's nest and that's a real disaster. Right, so, so egg beaters are pretty simple to learn to use. Is in the one too? No. No, these hold a lot more line for start and also the ratio tends to be What do we got? Trumpet! Good sized fish, aren't they? Not often you get to see fishing like this. Yes, it's not fair, I'm getting serious indigestion trying to eat my lunch. The fish keep interrupting. Oh, okay, not bad. Not bad, lad. You watch this. I'll drop this to the bottom and you watch the bites. I'll tell you what, there well, was something big on the other one. He's yeah. taking it. You watch the rod tip. I'll just hold this here. You watch the rod tip. Fish, 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 fish. Constant bang, bang, bang. Mm. You're a bit slow, Graham. What are you oh, I'm trying to eat the sandwich, Blake. I know I'm a bit slow. Probably a silly thing to do to try to eat a sandwich. Oh, the air is so clean down here, your, your lungs stop breathing and they start sighing with pleasure. That is just fantastic. Uh oh. And someone has to catch the rubbish, and it happens to be me. And fortunately, no one's watching, and hopefully, I can get him back over the side before anyone actually sees. Beautiful. Come on, cord. Look how sheer that is up there. Boys are just going for a power dive. It's, uh, Blake has got a certain amount of power quota, a certain amount of tonnage that the boys can gather. And uh, Butch and Tim and Ian are. Uh, the power gatherers, so you go and harvest this stuff. How, how do you get them off the rocks? Um, we just use, the, use a knife like this here, Grant. Scoop them off, measure them while we're in the water. Okay, so what length is that, or the minimum length the power has to be? I think it's 125 mils. 
And then you just scoop them off? Yeah, scoop them off and just put them in a hand net. Hand that up to the dinghy right. boy. And he um, tips them out and sacks them up. So he's, oh, excellent. So you just fill that up and then that's yeah. it, you tip them in the dinghy. It was too rough to dive on the open coast, so we tucked into one of the fjords. For the power gatherers, this was pure pleasure. Calm, comfortable diving. Yeah, so many things to do here. Come down here, you've got the choice of just sitting back and enjoying yourself. A day like this, doing nothing. Having a fish, having a dive, going hunting, going walking, just reading. Do whatever you want. If you haven't had a holiday in Fjordland, you're certainly missing something. I thoroughly recommend it.